Okay, so I'll break this up. Did a little bit of cleanup on everything. Here, let's get out of the light. Did a little cleanup on everything. You can see beveled stuff. Get a nice weld in there. And then I use this piece of aluminum angle underneath here with a little chain ratchet to clamp that to that. And then I just use a quick clamp to hold this in place. So same diameter, printed this as that. Jig this going through there. Uh, so you'll notice that I just put the smallest of tacks on there. That's because of that heat distortion, right? And I did it as quickly as possible, especially kitty corner. So when you put that little weld on there, it's going to start moving. Now the other thing that happened is, is because I'm grounding out through my clamp here, which grounds out through the tube, which grounds out through to this little piece of square tubing, it actually put a little arc inside the tube and that piece of tubing was stuck. So I just gave it a little tap right on this edge and it uh, popped that little, that little arc spot loose and now you can see it slides absolutely beautifully in and out of there. So if I'm careful with my heat distribution, and uh, I'm going to be, uh, then this should remain pretty true. So uh, I'm a little concerned about the plastic heating up. Maybe once I start getting, you know, welding in it real good, like it's already a little warm just from those little tacks. So uh, you know, we might weld it up, let it cool, check it, something like that. But uh, I'm going to go around this and do a couple more tack rotations just to try to hold everything as much as possible. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to get some serious heat into this casting because this is thick, thick steel and, uh, you know, I want to get good penetration on it. I am using the ESAB 710X dual shield wire which is a excellent wire it can get a little temperamental but once you figure out how to work with it it seems to be quite uh, quite strong so I'm gonna go around this do a few more tacks and then uh, weld her up 